Oliver, LVMH, maker of champagne, cognac, luggage, watches, jewelry, clothes, and baubles of every description, is worth 5 billion euros more than it was yesterday. How come? Well, we've had numbers today from LVMH, and uh, people seem pretty pleased with them. The share price is up about 6%, so that's mm. the, the market cap change that you were talking about. Uh, why was everyone so pleased? Well, revenue growth was slightly better than people were anticipating, mm. uh, so hence the, the jump in the share price. People were quite pleased for pro progress there. That said, the profits performance wasn't great over mm. the full year, and, and you still got to wonder if, if luxury generally, which has had a pretty bad sort of year or two, is, is on the road to recovery. How's the stock been over the last year or two? So over the last year, it's it's not done great in the sort of luxury sphere. It's underperformed a, a lot of other luxury names, not mm -hmm. all. So Prada's done worse, for example, but a, a lot of the other luxury companies have done better. Even some of those that have been specialists in particularly troubled areas, such as uh, the drinks companies, some of them have outperformed LVMH. Well, this brings us close to a point which Lex loves to fulminate about, which is that uh, conglomerates over time underperform or carry a discount to specialists. We don't like diversity for its own sake. Do you think that's part of the problem in the case of LVMH? It may be. Uh, it is a luxury conglomerate. That said, it's not a very broad conglomerate. Everything mm. that it does is in the, the luxury goods sector. So it's targeting the same sorts of individuals. And you right. can imagine that if, if they have a skill in managing brands and buying up brands and integrating mm -hmm. them and, uh, and really selling them to this customer group, there may be value in holding them all together. Uh, that said, as uh, over the past year, some of the specialists have performed slightly better mm -hmm. in share price terms. Well, one struggle that the luxury industry in general has had is that a couple of years ago, emerging countries, most predominantly China, but others as well, have been the key driver of growth. Is that coming back at all? I mean, two, two, two three years ago, it was all emerging markets. They've had a slump there. Where are we now? Well, there's no sign that it's coming back in any sort of meaningful way. The mm. big problem for, for LVMH is, is still um, the, the cognac market in China. This was huge a few years mm. ago, but, but the big crackdown on corruption in the past year or two has had a big impact on all the, the cognac mm. manufacturers. There's been a lot of destocking in that industry. That's still a problem, although there are, there are some hopes that that will, that will ease. Also, generally, consumption has is, 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 is been down, so it's sort of the, the growth rates are falling, certainly. So the growth hasn't been as, as, uh, as impressive across, across the board as it used to be. You combine that with perhaps uh, less spending by Russian consumers mm. because of what's happening there and the situation with Ukraine, and still emerging markets, not great for luxury companies at the moment. Thanks, Oliver.